What's going on folks? I'm Des with Desfruit and these are Jaybird's top of the line Terra Pro Premium Sport headphones. Now, the Terra Pros aren't just updated X4s, they actually have a bunch of new features that do set them apart. However, they also do carry a higher price tag than the X4s and although the X4s aren't necessarily super expensive, they aren't really cheap either. So let's find out if the Terra Pros are actually worth it. So the first major thing about the Terra Pros is that they advertise a whopping 14 hours of battery life and I was easily able to get about 13 hours out of them and I listen to my music a little bit louder than I probably should. And then they also have a quick charge feature that's supposed to get you two hours of battery life with just a five minute charge and I found that to be pretty close and then if you are charging them completely from empty it takes about two hours or so. So while we're talking about battery life, the charging clip, well <laughs> Jaybird is pretty notorious for coming out with a new charging clip with every single pair of headphones. And the Terra Pros are no different. In fact, they're even different than the normal Terras. So I do like the fact that it's a magnetic charging clip that actually works in either orientation and you can actually just grab them and go. But I don't like the fact that I can't use this charging clip on the rest of the other Jaybirds that I have. And then one last thing in terms of the battery life slash management is that after 15 minutes of inactivity, they'll actually automatically shut off, which is pretty darn nice for people like me who definitely just kind of forget to turn my headphones off. So the next big thing about the Terra Pros is that they use a braided style cable rather than the rubberized flat version that you can find in the X4s. And this is gonna prevent a lot of tangles if you just were to like wad these up, they don't really get tangled up. But the other big thing is that they won't actually stick to your skin, especially if your skin is sweaty. And this is kind of one of the main reasons I never really liked wearing headphones with the cord orientation behind the neck, but the Terra Pros solved that issue. So I thought that was pretty nice. And while we're talking about the cord orientation, the Terra Pros have what they call a switch fit system, which the earbud actually physically rotates, which is pretty darn cool. So switching between the over ear and under ear orientation is really, really quick. Now the Terra Pros use a one piece earbud and fin system rather than a two piece system that's gonna be found on the X4s and the original Freedoms. And I was kind of skeptical of these at first, but these do work quite well and they stayed securely in my ears during pretty much every activity. And you'll notice that they actually have a slight angle to the earbud, which in my opinion produces a better fit for the sound quality. And in terms of noise isolation, I thought these did a pretty decent job. Now with the X4s and the X3s, they always securely fit in my ears. They never really fell out. However, they did shift slightly, which would kind to change the sound a little bit but with the Terra Pros with that angled earpiece as well as the uh, silicon ear fin and tip I never really had them shift around on me they always produced a pretty consistent sound and then while we're actually talking about the earpieces they're actually magnetic which isn't necessarily revolutionary but when you actually do clip them together like this it actually pauses the music and then when you unclip them the music resumes which is pretty darn cool so you can wear them around your neck so they won't fall off and then the other funny thing is that if you are like let's say at the gym and you're talking to somebody and you take one earpiece out you can actually you clip it like this and make them feel really awkward. In terms of connectivity, the Terra Pros use Bluetooth 5.0, and I found the connection to be very consistent with my iPhone, the Galaxy Watch Active, Apple Watch Series 4, as well as Phoenix 5 Plus. But one interesting little thing here is that they're a little bit slower to connect with any of those devices than the X4. So, I mean, it's like just an extra second, but Basically, when I asked Jaybird about this, they actually said that it has something to do with achieving that 14 hour battery life. It's something really minor, but I thought I would mention it. So another unique thing about the Terra Pros is that the remote is actually gonna be slightly curved, which actually helps distinguish one side or the other. So you'll be able to find the buttons pretty darn easily. But just like all other Jaybirds, they're gonna have really good sweat and waterproofness, <laughs> which is actually why I've been a long time Jaybird user, as well as the Jaybird app where you can actually customize the sound profiles. And then in regards to sound quality, the X4s and the Terra Pros have a very similar sound profile, but the Terra Pros do sound a little bit better, at least for my opinion. And I'm no audiophile or anything, but I think that has to do with that angled earpiece design where it actually drives sound into the ear canal a little bit more directly. And I definitely experienced a much better bass response on the Terra Pros, and the X4s are no slouch by any means, but I do think the Terra Pros sound a little bit better than the X4s. So I actually have to say that the Terra Pros actually are a new Jaybird product. It's not like the X4s where they just made them a little bit better in terms of the waterproof Rating, Jaybird actually created new features with the Terra Pros that I didn't necessarily think I needed or even wanted, but they are all very welcome. However, they do come at that higher price tag. So if you're trying to decide between the Terra Pros and the Run XTs, which I recently reviewed, I'd say just get the Terra Pros. They're gonna have much better battery life. You're not gonna have those inconsistent connectivity issues with the left earbud, but that's just my two cents. 
But if you're considering the X4s versus the Terra Pros, that's gonna be a little bit tougher decision because the price difference is much larger. The Terra Pros, you're gonna have that braided cable, which is pretty darn nice where it doesn't stick to your skin. You're also gonna have that auto pause and resume feature with the magnetic earpieces, as well as the much better battery life. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. And if you are interested in picking up the Terra Pros, I do have a link in the description below where you can pick these up. And that clicking on that link does help out the channel with no additional cost to you. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for plenty, and I mean plenty of sports and fitness technology reviews that are coming soon. In the meantime, go have fun with your fitness and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.